Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K video. I'm just getting set up here to make sure that we're live and ready to roll on Facebook, which um, hopefully we are and hopefully you're able to see me. So give me just one second to get scrolled down here and see if we can get a live video pulled up so I can keep an eye and see if you guys have any comments. So today we are going to be doing a little watercolor spritzing technique. And... Oh, here we are. I see it now, so we're good to go. So it looks like um, hopefully somebody's out there watching. If you are, take a minute to say hey, and I will uh, say hi back. So uh, today we're going to be working on a card, doing watercolor spritzing technique. And um, it's a fun and real easy technique that um, I actually just sort of found out about. I'd seen it, but I hadn't tried it until just recently. So um, we're going to take a look at doing that here with this card. And we're going to be using a couple of the new in colors, Tranquil Tide and Lemon Lime Twist, that are available. Hey, Holly, how are you? So uh, they're available today, starting today at the with the Eastern Palace Suite, which is a beautiful set of products. So I definitely want you to take a look at that. And there are more details on my blog at stampwithamyk.com. And um, so you can check out the details there. So um, anyway, so I think we'll go ahead and get rolling here. Uh, I started out by just taking a piece of shimmery white cardstock, and I've talked with that, uh, talked with you guys a little bit about that in the past with some other techniques, and I found a shimmery white works well for certain things for me, for watercoloring, and I actually really like it for this type of technique where I want to be able to keep some of the actual image so that you can see what it is, and then get sort of a watery look over that. Um, the water, the shimmery paper absorbs quite a bit more of the ink than the watercolor paper does. Watercolor paper sort of lets it sit on the surface and then you can move the ink all around. Where shimmery white, some of the color sinks down in and then you add water over the top and the bottom image still stays there, if that makes sense. So, all right, so we'll go ahead and get rolling. So first we're going to start with a little Lemon Lime Twist ink. And I'm using, by the way, I guess I should have let you know that using the Butterfly Basics stamp set, which is one of the sets that's going to be in the next catalog. Definitely a good one to have, so um, if you don't have it yet, go get it. So, uh, <laughs> inking up a little bit of Lemon Lime Twist, and I didn't really do like anything official measuring it. I just sort of took it and stamped the image a couple times, sort of over each other. Um, then cleaned it off. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera around, around too much. And then took a little Tranquil Tide ink and added in a couple more of the fern leaves. Make sure I got a good coverage there. And again, there was no precise measuring. I just sort of stamped it. <laughs> and as you'll see with this technique, each one of these is going to come out just slightly different, um, which is kind of cool. So each one's an individually made piece of well, I guess you could call it art officially, um, but it's each, they're all individual, so you're going to see that each of them turns out just slightly differently, which is, like I said, is kind of a cool thing. So, got my inks on the paper, and then I'm going to take a Stampin' Spritzer, which these are available in two packs, and um, they're $3 in the catalog. And just real easy, make sure you're pointing the spritzer <laughs> at your piece of art rather than at your face. Not that I've done anything like that before, but um, just a little warning. So make sure you've got it pointing down. And then I took it and spritzed it kind of all over. I didn't completely soak, soak the, the paper, but I did get a pretty decent amount of water on it. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. Oh, and I put a paper towel under. I don't know if you saw me do that, sneak that in there quick. But um, added one of those underneath so that um, I wouldn't have, whoop, there I just shot myself with the spritzer, just like I told you not to do. <laughs> so, so I wouldn't have it underneath um, completely soaked as I'm trying to get the rest of the work done on here. Um, then you can sort of use it and hold it, hold it down flat. You can take it, move the ink around a little bit yourself if you want to. Um, I just sort of kept an eye on it, and if I got any big globs of ink that I didn't necessarily like the look of, one bonus is the paper towels. You can just sort of take it and blot the ink up a little bit, which is what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get rid of some of the big globs of ink for you. Um, and then basically just let it set aside to dry and kind of do its own thing where it sort of ran everywhere and and um, created a, a nice soft background. So I'm going to set that aside and take one that uh, through the magic of uh, 
video have already done for you. And you can see I only stamped two of them on each. It was late last night when I was putting this together. So <laughs> I apologize. I wasn't paying attention. I only had put two of the two of each color on here, but the same basic idea. So, so once I let my panel dry completely, which took, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 minutes or so, it didn't really take too long, which I was kind of surprised and a nice little bonus. Um, I took a little Tranquil Tide ink and I'm going to ink up the Colorful Season Stamps uh, sentiment which um, is from the upcoming catalog, so that's going to be available for customers beginning June 1st, and demonstrators should get to order it starting tomorrow, so that's very exciting. All right, took a little Tranquil Tide ink, and hopefully I won't make a mess of this since I'm on video. Inked up the uh, image, and then stamped it down. And I always hold it for just a second, particularly with the photopolymers. I don't know. I try not to smoosh it down, but just hold it down. And that usually gives me a nice clean image, which that one did. Then I took it, and I've got a little pre-cut piece of um, Tranquil Tide cardstock, which is also available starting today for customers. And I'm going to use a little bit of the green glue, hopefully. Ooh, there we go. And I'm going to adhere that to my cardstock. One nice thing about green glue is it's super strong adhesive once it dries, but you get that little bit of wiggle room in it, which I like because sometimes, as you can see here, I get things a little off center, and the green glue lets me uh, sort of wiggle it around a little bit. All right, done with that part. Um, then after I did that, I took a couple Stampin' Dimensionals, and I tried to have all this stuff handy right away. Of course, uh, it's always just out of my reach or I can't find it. And I don't know if you do this, but I, with the bigger Stampin' Dimensionals, I actually take mine and cut them in half right down the center. Um, because you really don't need, for the most part, the entire big piece of Stampin' Dimensional. So I just cut them in half, and it gives me twice as many. picking off the little wrappers, liners, whatever they're called officially. And then I'm adding it to a little bit of the Berry Burst card base, which I love that color, which I'm not really generally a pink and purple person, but I really like this color. So I've got that stuck together. Last thing that we have to do is stamp the butterfly image, and that's also from the Butterfly Basic stamp set. And I started out with another one of the new in colors, which is powder pink. <coughs> I apologize, I don't know why I start coughing the minute I get on video, but I do. Inked it up with powder pink first. Then took a little bit of the berry burst, which is one of the other new in colors. And took a sponge dauber, dabbed it on there, and then just ran it around the edge. And then Stamped it down on some shimmery white cardstock. Good, glad you guys are liking it. <laughs> the new ink colors are amazing, aren't they? So, and then took the Bitty Butterfly Punch, which this is one of the punches that is retiring on May 31st and is only available while supplies last. So, if this is a punch that you don't have yet, you definitely want it. There are a couple of butterfly um, stamp sets that match it, and it's just a cool punch. Good little one to have. So, Got my butterfly all punched out here. Just going to add one of my half stampin' dimensionals behind it. Stick it on here next to the sentiment. And then the last thing that I added was one of the uh, metallic enamel shapes. I put one of the silver ones on here and just sort of stuck it randomly on the card fruit. So that's it. Pretty simple technique. Hopefully you guys liked it and had some fun watching the video. Um, I'll show you my original one here that I sprayed is starting to dry up a little bit and like I said there's some gobs of ink on it that I don't necessarily like the look of so I just took the paper towel kind of kept an eye on it and um, blotted those up so this one is the one that's drying and will be the next card front that I'll be working on so let me know if you guys have any questions hopefully you liked watching the video and like seeing the technique like I said it's real simple real fun um, definitely give it a try I can't wait to see what you guys create Stop back by my blog, stampwithamyk.com, anytime. Leave me a question. I'm happy to help out any way that I can. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, again, post a question on the video if you have anything. And I'll be out hanging out on Facebook for a couple minutes, and I'll answer anything that I've got. Thanks again. Have a good afternoon.